Welcome back. Now in this video, we'll be learning about how do we enter and edit a data in Microsoft Excel. Basics of very much of Excel right now. Now Excel is a very vast application. It can store numbers, it can store date, it can store text, it can store the error messages, everything. All those data can be stored here. It is used in various companies in various departments, HR department, banking department, or you can say sales department, many departments, different domains, healthcare, banking, finance, marketing, and so on, different domains. Now, let us understand first thing, how do we enter data in Excel and how do we modify that thing? For example, I have this cell, which is C1 right now. And uh, if I want to enter some text over here, I can just start typing directly. Okay, here I can type as let's say techno H, learning services simply type it when you type it you can see the same text in the formula bar and here when the cursor is blinking if you observe, observe here the cursor is blinking over here so the ribbon on the top is grayed out grayed out in sense you cannot do maximum options you cannot change in anything over there so when the cursor is blinking that means you are in the editing mode the cell is in the editing mode when you press enter then the entire tab options will be enabled okay here we go back i can use my arrow keys from the bottom there are four arrow keys left right up and down i can use the arrow keys to move between the cells now in this particular cell if i want to modify the method is simple method is if i have a mouse i can double click on the cell and i can write here as private limited i can keep writing here and i can press enter if i do not have a mouse I can press a shortcut key from my keyboard F2, F2 or function F2, depending upon laptop. Some people can use F2, some people can use function F2. The shortcut is function keyboard, function button and F2. When I press function F2, I can write here, let's say like this, enter. So the name of the company where I work, which is my company, Technology Learning Services, India Private Limited here. So that's a text over here. So whenever I type your text, it's visible. Now let's see some more data. If I enter a text, let's say ABC, and if I press enter, the text alignment would be on the left hand side. If I enter number 1, 2, 3, press enter, the number would be on the right hand side. Observe text will be on the left, number would be on the right. If I type a date, let's say 1 slash 1 slash 2024, 1 slash 1 slash 2024, enter. Also, if you see the date will be on the right hand side. So the alignment is right hand side. If I write here, let's say equal to one or let's say, uh, let's say equal to one divided by zero. Obviously one divided by zero is infinity. Here it will give an error. So when I press enter, it becomes as cannot divide by zero. So this is an error. Error alignment would be center. If you see the center alignment, if I type as let's say uh, equal to false okay and if i press tab key enter so whenever i type here as true and false this will come in the middle alignment if you see false and true so whenever you see an excel file you should be able to understand whether it is a text whether it's a number or it's an alignment or or it's a something let's say uh, true and false which are boolean values true and false are known as boolean values b double o l e n boolean values here so, so these are the alignments over here I can go back to any place and I can edit, okay? Or if I want to write a function, okay, so I can write as equal to some, press tab key, one comma five. So I want to add those two numbers. This is a function. We'll see in detail how to write the functions. Equal to some in bracket one comma five. When I press enter, I get the answer six. So I can enter a function, I can enter a formula, I can enter the text and numbers. So Excel is a application which can store huge amount of data. Now. Coming back to the point here, to edit a cell, the shortcut is F2 or function F2, or I can just double click on this place. Also, if I think I want to modify the text, I can just click in the formula bar like this, and I can put a space, I can write TEF, enter. So various methods are there to modify the data over here, right? Now moving further, carefully observe, if I type here Monday, and if I press enter, when I press enter, the cursor comes into the next cell. You see, when I press enter, the cursor comes in the next cell. But here, when I type, let's say Monday, okay, if I type here Monday, if I want the cursor in the same cell, I don't want to come down. I can press control enter from my keyboard. Control enter will keep the cursor in the same cell, 
okay and the in the non editing mode i repeat when i type monday the cursor is blinking when it is blinking it's in the editing mode and the ribbon on the top is grayed out you cannot do any options when you press control enter the cursor comes in the same cell in the non editing mode so what is the benefit i have to if i want to drag down i don't have to go down and then come up i can directly use this option the next option is suppose if i want to add a new line in the same cell for example if i type here my name okay alt enter alt enter will create a new line in the same cell my last name alt enter my city name alt enter my country name so pavan lalwani pune india so four lines are created in the same cell now when i press enter you can see these are separate data okay separate data new line in the same cell so what is the shortcut for that alt enter remember alt enter is the shortcut let's try one more if i write here as a alt enter b alt enter c alt enter d and finally when i press enter this has created new lines in the same cell so now i can select this data maybe i can press delete key from my keyboard so delete key will remove all the data from the screen now on the right hand side if you see we have 145 as a zoom size i can minimize i can click on this minimize button i can click on this maximize button so the size of this text will increase or size of the sheet would be increased here and the last one would be the name box suppose i am currently in the cell number a2 now if i want to go to b6 i want to go to the cell number b6 how do i go one method is i can click here and i can jump to b6 second method is in the name box this is the name box i can click on the name box type as b6 when i type b6 when i press enter my cursor will be navigated to b6 okay i repeat here suppose i am in b1 if i want to go to some cell number which is b12 so from b1 to b12 if i want to go i i, I can c12 i can keep my cursor uh, type here c12 i can type c12 enter my cursor will come to the c12 cell number so why it is easy why it is important because sometimes the data is huge there are hundreds of columns and there are thousands of rows okay if i want to go to some specific cell this name box can help me to reach to that particular location very very easily so this is the method of uh, entering editing data in microsoft excel i hope you have understood and that's all for this video